Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Tuesday the 30th of August 2022, almost the end of the month. One more day to go to survive. I'm not sure those people get paid at the end of the month. Do people actually get paid on the end on the last day of the month? If you do, well, few, huh, to you tomorrow. Um, right, and uh, this is the Guardian labeled medium sudoku from past experience it's often an easy game uh can't tell for sure though um they sometimes slip in a, a, a trickier one so never quite sure how it's going to work out but most in most instances it turns out to be a fairly easy game what's going on uh the guardian has published a, a report stating that people who drink a couple of cups of tea a day have lower mortality risk um, Hmm. I wish they'd stop printing these type of uh, reports though. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how accurate they are. They sound scientific, but uh, and this is the this is the sentence that I prefer. They should, I wish they would put this at the top. It says uh, so. This this was a, a middle-aged white uh, population, um, a European population actually, who uh, and they discovered a, a, a small increase well I say small increase nine and thirteen percent reduced risk of mortality according to the survey uh, uh, the study uh, but this is the sentence I like the uh, writer of the study uh, did not definitively establish that tea was the cause of lower mortality of tea drinkers because it could not exclude that this was down to other health factors associated with tea consumption yeah right okay so you can't single out you know things like this they're constantly putting up these ridiculous studies about oh yeah eat, you know drinking coffee eating chocolate will improve your your health outcomes or sometimes the exact opposite we never know who's funding these uh, reports uh, which you know is it the tea drinkers council or something <laughs> some shady body who's behind it oh, we really don't know uh, and uh, I find these reports to be really a waste of time. I'm not saying that there's anything dangerous or bad. Of course, I'm sure there's nothing inherently bad about tea, coffee, chocolate, or other things in moderation. I'm sure it's quite reasonable to have stuff in moderation, you know, just about everything, really. Um, just oh, stop trying to tell us you found the panacea for all, uh, you know, the, the uh, fountain of youth fountain of eternal youth by drinking a couple of cups of tea per day or something not some such nonsense shall we get on with the game of sudoku now if you've never played sudoku before what do you see you see a grid before you and you will notice that it's square if you count along if you count along these squares these small squares not the big square you'll find that there are nine of them and since it is a perfect square you'll find that there are nine squares in each column down as well and then you'll see these black lines which divide up the board into these small sections of three by three and of course we all can remember back at school three by three three times three is nine so there are nine squares in each of these uh, small boxes but you don't actually need to know any maths at all as long as you can count from one to nine is all you need uh, what do we do we place digits one to nine in every square one per square of course no cheating trying to get more than one number in uh, how do we go about it? We say, look, there's a one in this column, uh, this row, sorry, at the top already. So one cannot reappear anywhere in this column. In particular, it can't appear in these three squares here. There's a one in this column here, and so one can't reappear in this column. Obviously, one number per column per row. So this square here and this square here, although this we already know, cannot be one. And then up here, there's a one blocking this square from becoming a one. And now that we are limited to only one empty square, so we know for sure that the one must be in that square there. We can take that one and bring it across like this and say, this one excludes those three squares, and this one here excludes those two squares. So we know that one must appear in this square here. Then we can take that one and bring it down like this, and this one across here, and say that one appears there. We can take that one down, uh, one across there, one down two rows, two columns rather, and one across this row as well. And now we have a one in every one of these small blocks, and so we don't need any more ones. There are no other digit ones in the larger grid. We've completed that part of the exercise already. 
let's look at this row here and see which numbers are missing. I immediately see that we don't have a 3. So this 3 blocking this square and this 3 blocking this square means that 3 must appear in that square there. Um, uh, now, missing numbers for this row, uh, this row to complete the series of 1 to 9 are 5 and 9. We don't have a 5, we don't have a 9, but this 5 means that this square here can't be 5. So 5 goes here, and 9 goes there. Uh, this 3 blocks both of those squares up here, and this 3 blocks this square. So in this column, which doesn't yet have a 3, we know that the 3 must be placed down here like this. This can't go anywhere else. Uh, right, so you've got the idea now, haven't you? So let's uh, continue to play the game. Let's see what's missing from here. We don't yet have two, uh, we don't have six, and we don't have eight. So we've got six and eight in the same column, so this square can't be six, can't be eight, which six and eight must go there, so this has to be two then. Now this 6 disallows this square from getting a 6, so we know the 6 is actually here, and the 8 will be the last number to get there. Uh, the missing two digits in this column are 5 and 7. We have an intersecting 5 here, so 5 is in that square. 7 finishes the column there. This 5 blocks up this column here, so that means that this square here is a 5. Uh, and now we can get these, I don't know if we can get these two, but we can definitely get this digit here by finding out what's missing here. Now what's missing here seems to be 4 and 9. So if that's 4 and 9, this square here has to be 2. Uh, can't get the 4 and 9 here. Okay, we'll leave that. What's missing from here? Four, seven, and eight. We have a four, we have a seven, we don't know anything about the eight just yet, so we'll hold off on that until a bit later. Right, now where else should we look? By the way, if you are new to the channel, welcome. Uh, and I should tell you that I don't play these games ahead of time, so I have no idea of the final outcome, the final uh, puzzle solution. Um, I'm just playing it live and uh, sometimes it's quick sometimes it's less than quick uh, missing digits over here in this row are two four and nine I believe so we've got the blocking four here the two and the nine though we don't really know anything about just yet so um, let's um, go on need to examine this column and see what's missing. We don't yet have two. Uh, we don't yet have six. Two, six, eight, and nine are the four missing numbers for the four empty squares. Two, six, eight, and nine. Um, that's not enough just yet. Okay, so uh, what I might do now is, I've got digit 1, I'm just going to go on a digit by digit click to see if anything um, springs up and looks simple, because it sometimes can save some time. Sorry about the, the uh, drilling sound, if that microphone is picking up that uh, drilling sound. Uh, it's uh, quite distant 
but it, you know those things are so loud right anyway well do we have ourselves a tough guardian puzzle medium level puzzle for a change we might He might. I think we've got ourselves a toughie. Well, that's unexpected, isn't it? I did say, I did warn you that occasionally it is tough, but it's just, it's, it, I must admit, for a Tuesday, I mean, yes, the, the Wednesday puzzle sometimes is, but not often on a Tuesday. Isn't that a play? Oh no, that's never on a Sunday. Um, hmm. Ah, oh, actually, there is something I've just been missing, something simple. Look, there's a 9 blocking these three squares. We don't have a 9 in this column yet, so 9 must appear there. Okay, so that's going to leave uh, 2... 2, what, 2, 4, 7, is it? 2, 4, 7, I think. Uh, yeah, so we've got 2 and 7 in the same row, so that has to be our 4 then. Okay, now 4 blocking across this row and across this row, so that's a 4 there. 7 blocking here, so 7 is in that square. To finish this block, we will place an 8. Now that we've got the 7 blocking that square, we know 7 is here, and 2 will finish the column, of course. Okay, but it's, I'm not there yet. There's still some thinking to be done. Um, hmm. Ah, there we go. This four blocks this square. We need a four for this row, so four must be there. And the last number to get here is two. And so with a 2 blocking across here and a 2 up here, that's going to put 2 into that square. And then we've only, we only need one more, 2. No, we don't. Actually, I take that back. We need 2 more. 2 goes here, so 2 is in that square. And then down here, down here. And this will finish up with 2s. Okay, 1 and 2 are now done. Seven blocks across this row, so seven must appear in this square here. If you're hearing a bell, you are not getting tinnitus. Uh, it is in fact the local ice cream seller. When I say local ice cream seller, I mean it's not the Walls ice cream seller or multinational Unilever uh, seller. It's a local person on a bicycle selling ice cream, which Thai people sometimes call I Bim, as a Thai, Thai version of the word ice cream, although they often say ice cream actually. Gatik, uh, which is a coconut, uh, based on the coconut. Uh, ice cream made with coconut milk, or coconut cream, right? I'm not sure which. Seven has to appear in this square here. Seven blocks across here, seven blocks down here. This is a seven here. Um, I've no idea if it's good for your health, 
certainly uh, like drinking, certainly uh, um, probably like drinking tea. If you have one scoop per day, you'll be okay. But if you do it to excess, it's probably not a good thing. You know, that's all we need about food intake, isn't it? It's common sense and moderation. That's it. You don't need to know anything more. They don't need these ridiculous studies that continue to uh, emerge paid for by whom we wonder. Where am I? Oh yeah, get back to the Sudoku. Stop thinking about uh, uh, health and food. Um, okay, we have five blocking across here now, so that will be our five. Um, and the same digits down here are four and nine. We've got blocking four down here, so that's the location for the four, the nine will appear here. Only one number missing from this row now. The missing number looks like it could be an eight. Indeed, it was. And uh, then the nine blocks down here, we need a nine in this particular box here, so nine will go there. And the last number to fill in is a four. Uh, okay, well, I, this you know, it's causing me to think. I mean, I'm not able to do this without you know on autopilot, so uh, I'm rather enjoying the game. Missing numbers here: three, six, and eight. So no, don't have enough information. I've got a three here. I've got an eight here. Um, sixes, I don't know just yet. So. Have to come back. Um, let's see up here. What's missing up here? We've got one, two, three, fours up here in those squares there. Uh, sixes. What's happening with the six? Oh dear. No, six is still possible in those squares there. We're looking for eight. Eight is in one of those squares there. And how about the nine? No, even less information. So, so I've actually got to think about this, or examine a bit more closely, at least. Anyway, this is the row that's going to give us the action. Uh, not quite as much as an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie, but some action. Anyway, one, two, three, four. We don't have five. We don't have six. We don't have eight. But what we do have is five and six in the same column. So blocking this square here are both five and six. So if this can't be five, can't be six, it must be an eight. And now we can finish the game because eight is going to block across here like this, eight across here, eight up here. That puts an eight into that square. I'm pretty sure stuff is going to be easy now. Three blocks this square, so three will complete this row once we or oh, will be the penultimate number, I should say, and that row and the ultimate digit will be uh, six, I think. Six also blocks across here, so that will be a six there. The missing number here is a five. Five blocks all the way across here. This will be a five. Um, what are we lacking? Three blocks here, so this is our three, and nine finishes that block. I am blocking up here and up here. Oh, I didn't need to do that. I could have just looked down here and found it was a nine that's missing. Nine blocks across here. Here's our nine. Here's our four. Four blocks across here. This is our four. We have just one digit missing from here, which is an eight, I believe. And then a six finishes that block, that row. And uh, what's missing over here now? three blocks that square there so three goes here and to finish today's medium level rather interesting i mean almost a medium level i'd say it's i think definitely harder than many of the tuesday puzzles six is going to do it uh that's it bye bye see ya